I'm Chris Cashin, and you know what? Not everybody's perfect. Well, today, Reverend McGee tells us that that is okay. This is Third Mind Thursday. Hello, welcome to Be Encouraged with the Reverend McGee. I'm the Reverend McGee, and this is the program where we encourage you so you in turn can encourage others. Today, I'd like to take a little moment of your time to talk with you about your mistakes in life. That's right, your mistakes. See, nobody's perfect. We've all made them. Sometimes I call them missed takes because it's those events in your life you'd like to do over again if you had the chance. But life isn't like film. No, sir, there's no going back to get it right. See, some mistakes are bigger than others. Some mistakes will follow you around for the rest of your life. Literally, just follow you around around. You people out there who have had premarital sex and didn't use the condom, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you may have made more than one missed take, and I know you probably feel like sh bad about it, but I know I do about mine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I <clears throat> you probably don't know what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> well, true confessions, it's a boy. <laughs> ah, Reverend McGee Jr. But when he's not around, I like to call him, oops. <laughs> one day, I was in the confessional, and well, people like to come in and confess things. Now, I was reading a book, well, I thought it was about the homosexuals coming into the church called Fifty Shades of Gay, but it was Fifty Shades of Gray. I didn't see the R. And anyway, I got a little excited about it. Well, I'm reading it, and in the confessional walks this lady, and she starts telling me about all the mistakes she's done and how she's had an affair on her husband and all the sexual things she's been doing, and well, I am a red-blooded American male, and well, I got a little hot under the collar, if you will. <laughs> the white turned red. <laughs> Just kidding, it really didn't. <sighs> but anyway, I was listening to her going into detail about what she was doing, and I thought, hmm, you know what, miss? You might want to come over here and show me what you did instead of telling me, because I get a better idea of what's going on, what I'm forgiving you for, and well, she did, and one thing led to another, and next thing you know, I'm paying alimony. <laughs> it's weird, though, how a white man and an Asian lady could have a black baby. <laughs> oh, well, I guess God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. But you know what? You learn from them, and you move on. So, let that be a lesson, people. Use protection. Really, you should. Anyway, I'll talk to you next time about why taking baths and that kind of stuff really isn't that important. Until then, this is the Reverend McGee saying, be what you want to be, but most of all, be encouraged. <laughs> Thanks so much for that wonderful advice. See, even Reverend McGee's not perfect. He makes oops too. That doesn't sound right. Be sure to subscribe to his follows on Facebook and Twitter. You can also follow me at Chris Cashin, and we'll see you next week. Ladle.